Welcome back, this is Baller Scuba with more Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. I am joined, as always, by our treasure-seeking squad of Glenn, Luke, and Coco. When we last left off, we had made it to South Figaro, and I said that I would be doing a little bit of shopping off-screen. I have gone ahead and done that. Uh, Glenn is on this equipment. I'll just quickly show you what I have. Anything that I have equipped, I purchased in town. Um, Kung Fu suit on a thief. Who would have guessed? Regal cutlass, cotton robe, all that. Uh, what I actually needed to spend most of my money on, as you can see I don't have very much of it left, are these relics. Uh, so I did pick up a star pendant. I believe I got star pendants across the board. Uh, Hyper wrist I did get in town along with those running shoes. And I do have sprint shoes on Coco, so we will be walking at a faster pace now. Uh, very similar to Dash, uh, but you do need an accessory, or well, relic I should say, in order to get that done. On top of that, uh, actually, let's just go back in. I also purchased a jewel ring. Once again, this only protects against Petrify because I really couldn't care less about Dark. With that done, we are free to get out of here. I'm not going to rent a chocobo. I am going to try to get levels uh, through regular battles. But what we need to do now is head straight north to a little hut that we can see right there. But first, we have to get into a fight with Renator. Renator is quite deadly at times. So I'm going to cast fire on him. And I'm going to go for the Bio Blaster, which I do think does more damage on him than normal. Did I already steal? That is why I do not like the Grinator. He's got Mega Vault. Not so nice, not so nice. You need to cure yourself. Couldn't steal. Damn it, Luke. What are you doing? What are you even here for? Why'd I give you the haste? Steal from him, damn it. Uh, we'll test out the auto crossbow. And honestly, I think this will be very, very close to it. Down goes the Rhinotaur. 82 experience and a level for Coco. Very nice. 186 skill. No magic that time. Let's head into the hut. And here, what do we have here? What the hell is all that? It's a turnip and a, one turnip and one piece of cabbage. Sure, anything in the well? Can I jump down it? No, that's a different game. Let's just head inside. Mm, what's that smell? Ooh, that smell. These dishes, they were his favorite. What? And this, his favorite tea. And you see the tonic out of the trash. Why he threw that away is beyond me. You can rest in here, which is good, because I wasted some MP. Well, not wasted, but I used it. And that's not always a good sign. Do you have anything to say about the table? No. Flowers? His favorite. I wonder what the hell he's talking about. Oh, well. Let's just get out of here. If we can. Elvis? He was here? Wait, where'd you come from, dude? You have anything to say about this? What the? You know this guy? Of course! He left a couple of days ago after he heard Master Duncan was slain. Damn it, Duncan! Not again! <laughs> he headed into the mountains. I heard Duncan's son, Vargas, is missing as well. I have a bad feeling about this. Where the hell? Wait, where are you going? Where are you? Where? What? Where'd he go? He's not on the world map at all. Okay. So, now that we are done in Elvis's hut, it is time to head east, as we were told was the way to the mountain. Now, it looks like there is just a little path right there that you can barely make out. And we do, I believe, have new enemies. If we did not encounter these before, well, here they are. I, and if we did, they are not that difficult to deal with. Actually, Glenn, if Glenn gets one more level, he will be able to one-shot this entire thing. This entire group, I guess you could say. Another auto crossbow! Why even regularly attack when you can auto crossbow? 
57 experience, and Glenn gains a level, so he should be able to finish those guys off from now on. Let's head up here, up to Mount Colts. Let's head inside. And here we shall be going in and out of the mountain just constantly. Do we have new enemies? Of course we do. We have Serpius's. Let's go ahead and try to steal. We go for an auto crossbow. And... Oh, that doesn't look good. <laughs> Force a habit. Holy crap. Go, Glenn. Glenn just saves everybody's ass all the damn time. I don't think there's... Oh, there's a treasure chest down there, but it doesn't look like we can get to it just yet. So we're going to have to keep going around and hopefully we can find our way to the treasure chest. Pincer attack. This is the first time we have seen a pincer attack, but it is the same enemies. Let's head into this cave here, and this cave has a few secrets to it. First, obviously there's the door down here, but we also have Duskers! Ooh, but we get a preemptive attack. Uh, let's try to steal from them if we can. Uh, these guys do have quite a bit of HP, uh, so it will probably take both a fire and a crossbow. Damn it, I'm supposed to get a turn in. I have moved everybody to the back row, by the way, because, no, why not? Um, we're not really doing anything that would require us being in the front row. Auto crossbow, of course, can carry between rows. Down go the Tuskers. You get quite a bit of experience for that fight, but no level ups. Let's head out here, and we can get the Guardian. Guardian is a weapon for loot. So let's go ahead and put that on him. As you can see, it ups his speed, plus everything else. Um, I was going to evade. Do not care. But uh, battle power up by 21 as well. Very, very nice. Uh, can you use the... You could, but it's bad for you. Okay. Let us move on. Back into the cave. And up and back around. This is kind of a secret, kind of not. And here we do have brawlers. I should mention brawlers. Um, you, if if you really want to, you can steal from them. They do have uh, bandanas, which are an upgraded. Uh, uh, I guess you could say helmet. <laughs> it is an upgrade. There we go. Hey, I got a bandana. So let's go ahead and equip that on somebody when I get the chance. Probably Coco. Uh, they, it is kind of a hassle to steal those most of the time. I got very lucky there. Usually it requires, like, it's like a 1 in 8 chance or something like that. Uh, what am I doing? No, you. You get the bandana. Defense and magic defense up. So that is much appreciated from the plumed hat, which is what I believe everybody has. So I could use three of those. Uh, the bandanas, um... But I don't think Glenn can equip them. Wait a second. I think there's uh, something around here. More brawlers! Yes, there definitely is something over here. I almost missed it. I thought it was a little bit further along in the cave. But there is another secret entrance over here with more brawlers. And for going this way, we are led to a treasure chest with Atlas Armlet in it. Atlas Armlet is a relic, and we're going to put that on Glenn right away instead of the Hyper Wrist. Raises fight damage instead of uh, vigor. Um, it pretty much, well, I know it looks like it's not going to do as well, but trust me, it's an improvement. So we're going to go ahead and put that on him. I don't believe anybody else needs the Hyper Wrist at the moment. We're not really attacking with anybody else, so we'll just hold on to that for now. Let's go ahead and move on back the way that we came and out the cave, hopefully. More brawlers, wow. Now Glenn should be able to one-shot pretty much everything that we come across. What the hell is that? How do I... Can I go around? Oh, we just go around the mountain. Looked like it was the end there. Okay, let's go into the right side first. And I bet we find more brawlers. We do. I haven't gotten another bandana off of them yet. Let's head down here, and this leads to a tent. Very nice. I could always use more tents, especially since I accidentally used one already. Now let's head into this other passage, and this should lead the way forward. Let's cross this bridge here, and that leads to nothing, so let's avoid that bridge. Let's continue on. Let's head out 
up here. And we have made it back out. What the hell is going on with that guy? How the hell is he doing that? He jumps freaking all over the place. I won't learn how to jump like that. But instead, we're just going to cross this bridge. Over the bridge we go and back into another room with a save point. I will use this. All saved and rested. Let's move on. Ashley, was there a way down here? No. No. Looks like there could be, though. Could have been something there. Let's move on. And we can... Wow, we're just motoring on through this. And we finally do have that last enemy that I was looking for. The Trillium. Or Trillium. Uh, I think we can still one-shot it. Yeah. <laughs> 64 experience points, 268 gil. I will take it. We will move on. Let's continue going. It doesn't look like there's anywhere to go down there. I'm not used to running so fast in this game. Let's keep going. And hopefully we can find Vargas and possibly Elvis. So do you think it's Elvis there? That doesn't look like Elvis to me. It looks like he's just going to stand there and wait for me. I'm ready for you. I'm ready for you.